bruh, I never make videos about TV ratings, right? I never make videos about, oh, this show got 500K views, so let me make a video about it. No, I never, I never do that. I just let things play out. But this, nah, man, I gotta say something about this. This is alarming. This is scary. This is creepy. This is scary for AW, man. You can't look the other way. You can't, man. You keep on ragging on Raw's low attendance. You keep on ragging on Raw. Oh, Raw got 1.5, 1.6. That's bad. Oh, Raw can't sell our stadium. Oh, not to, not that many people buy tickets for Raw, okay? You got to keep that same energy, man. This is alarming. Dynamite had 760K viewers, man. Are you kidding me? I'm going to say it again. Are you kidding me? This is scary. And let me tell you a secret. On Wednesday, I had nothing to do, right? I was looking forward to watching AW. Let that sink in. You know why? Because there was nothing good on TV. So I, so I said, all right, cool. I got wrestling on Wednesday. So I'm like, all right, cool. There's nothing to watch. There's no NBA. Um, I'm a casual baseball fan. So I'm going to choose wrestling over, over baseball. I'm a casual fan of hockey. But I'm going to watch wrestling over hockey. So like, dog, there was nothing. There was nothing on television. Literally, so I was excited to watch AW. They are the lesser of all the evils, right? I'm trying to figure out what was on yesterday that had people distracted for for AW to dip down, to dip down to over 700k, bro. Those are Wednesday night war numbers that they were sharing with NXT. That's not good. 700K. That's like 100K more than what 2.0 does. This is not good. It's exactly what I've been predicting, man. They keep on trying to sell us on this forbidden door crap. They should have done this three years ago. But they keep on selling us on this forbidden door crap. Um, They botched Wardlow. Let me say it again. They botched Wardlow who could have been a draw, but now he's Lex Luger 1994 cosplay. Now he's Braun Strowman 2.0. Dog, people want to see change, right? That change could have been Wardlow chasing after the world title. We love cheering on new faces who, 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 who haven't been main event guys before. We want to, we want to see new talent. Hence Goldberg. Strike while iron's hot. Let's make him a champion during this winning streak. That's what Eric Bischoff did. Let's make him a double champion. Let's have him dominate Hulk Hogan. Let's create a new star so we can challenge the WWF. They did that. So please, please don't tell me ratings don't matter. Ratings cancel your show. The lower you get, there's a likelihood that that network will cancel your goddamn show. So you better care about the damn ratings if you are a fan of AW, you dumbass. You want to say ratings don't matter. Ratings matter when it comes to professional wrestling on television. If, if so, bruh, TNA will still be on Spike TV. Ratings matter, you dumbass. I don't care. Ratings should matter to you as a fan. If you want your show to be around, they got to keep up with the darn TV ratings or they, or they will get canceled or your network will not resign them once the contract is up because they're going to say, well, is this show making money or are, are people watching? Why are the numbers down? Are we producing a show that's declining? Is this bad for our network? Bro, I want AW to, to, to succeed, man. I want AW to be great. I wish they keep on doing dumb stuff. You think people you think people want to see Warlow versus 20 security guards? Knowing damn well you could have eliminated 20 some dudes in that battle royal to be a world champion. But no. Damn near TK chose that over over 
creating your next monster. Let's just be real, man. Tony Khan hates monsters. Look, I made multiple videos about that. He, he hates monsters. He does not book monsters well. He's worse than a WWE. He books monsters like they're jokes. Maybe he has a maybe he has a little man complex. Maybe he was bullied in school by a big guy, so maybe that's why he don't book big guys strong. It's like, look, I have no problem with Orange Cassidy, but I mean, you booking Orange Cassidy against Will Osp Will No Spray? Orange Cassidy versus Will No Spray. Wow, I'm that's crazy to me. Um, look, I understand he might be their he might be their biggest draw, but that's not really that, but that, that ain't saying much. <laughs> Orange Cassidy is their biggest draw, but that's not really saying all that much. Seven hundred K plus for Dynamite. I'm trying to I'm trying to look on my TV guy. What was on that people were not watching? A, like why? For people not watching what was on TV, that was so distracting. I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm not playing around. I'm trying to retrace my steps on what I was watching, because I was bored on Wednesday. I was dying to watch AW because I was bored. There was nothing good on TV to watch. But, bro, what were other people watching that I wasn't watching that? AW dipped down to 700k dog you gotta care about the ratings if they go lower and lower and lower TBS is gonna pull the plug don't you get it you have to care about the ratings yes they are your problem you are the, you are the consumer you are the customer if TBS and TNT feels like you as the customer is not satisfied on what you're watching they are gonna relate to that to why the AW go from 900k to 700k within a week span. Why? Can somebody ask me that? This is alarming. Like, bro, if you are trying to leave the WWE, how was AW a good option? How? Unless, uh, unless he pays you more money. Other than that, it's not a good option. Because if I'm a if I'm a performer. Listen, as a performer, I want to be watched by the most people. It's like that's why that's why I work hard, right? I want to be watched by the most people. You as a wrestler, you want you want to be watched by the most people. That's common sense. So how are they going to track more big names for the WWE if, if they don't got the viewers to want to watch them? Wrestlers want to get watched by tons of people. That's why you become a wrestler. You want you want to be watched by tons of people and make money. Yeah, that's important. But you still want to be watched by tons of people. So it's like this this 700 k it's bad, man. It's alarming. Because I don't know how it got dipped down that low based on bro, there was nothing on TV to watch on Wednesday. It was a clean slate. It was boring. It was a clean slate. They had that slide all to themselves. So why did they choke down to 700 k that is some alarming stuff. See, look. Let me tell you what casuals watch when they watch AW these past couple of weeks. For example, like last night, that that guy was named Tanahashi versus Dean Ambrose. They had a face off. Okay, if I'm a casual and I'm turning to that channel, I'm going to say, "Oh, that's a uh, Dean Ambrose from the Shield." Okay, who is he facing? Um, who is this? Who is this guy? Who's this guy from uh, Japan? I don't like. I don't know him. I mean, should I know him? <laughs> like, is he important? How come he never stepped foot inside the WWE? If he's so important, why should I care? How is this a big deal? <laughs> so Dean Ambrose went from facing Brock Lesnar to Tanahashi. Who is Tanahashi? Dog, I, I saw one match from Tanahashi. But just imagine the casual. Look, casuals who watch AW, they don't want to feel too much like an idiot. They don't want to do homework. It's like, bro, you as the TV show, 
tell me who these guys are tell me why should i feel like i should watch them tell me why is tanahashi so important and don't speak chinese to me here's what here's what i mean by chinese chris jericho was speaking chinese he was rambling up all these names from new japan talk about hey yeah i beat you at the tokyo dome three three years ago you this you that i beat this guy i beat that guy from new japan okay jericho who cares bro i know you from the wwe i don't know you from new japan so why are you bringing that up casuals feel stupid watching aw because people don't want to be left out the loop don't leave me out the loop tell me who these guys are stop bringing in these jobbers from new japan having them attack these guys from aw it's like bro who are these guys seriously who are these guys this feels like the, this feels like exactly like the late 90s when ecw invaded raw but guess what half of that crowd didn't know who who they were that were invading <laughs> but this, this is worse because the ratings are going down ever since they ever since all these guys from new japan have been coming over to aw the ratings have been going down because you're not giving us any backstory on why should we care who these guys are it's like it's like it's it's kind of like being uninvited to a party you're bragging about this party, but okay, I'm not invited. So why are you bragging about that? Why, why are you bragging about this party? I'm not invited. I mean, why is this party so important? If I don't know about it, you're just bragging about a party that I have no clue about. Invite me to invite me to the party. Don't have me do research on what this party is about. Why should we care about Will No Spray? See, people want to say, oh, Dax Hardwood and uh, Will No Spray had a five star match, the match of the year. Okay, but 700K viewers. But, dog, nobody cares about great matches, dog. Nobody cares about them fighting for 20 sub minutes, all these, all these near falls. First of, all, first of all, I don't know why there were so many near falls in a meaningless match with no belts on the line. Why was that match so competitive? I don't know. Um, so, but that was a TV special. I think it was called Road Ranger or something. Thought that was a that was a low key pay per view TV special that we had for free, and yet nobody cared to watch it. Because you jumped the ball with Wardlow. Casuals liked Wardlow. And now, guess what? You ran him off. Casuals like guys who look like Wardlow. Casuals don't like guys that look like Jungle Boy. Hold on. The young... The Bucks were in the main event in a ladder match. And yet, that ain't, that ain't draw nothing. So, that's proof... The Bucks are not draws. Case in point, it went from 900k last week to 700k, and I don't know where those viewers went. Not to hockey, not to baseball, not to basketball. It was free. It was a clean slate. Where did they go? See, I warned you. You should have struck by the eye was hot with Wardlow. Casuals loved Wardlow, but you bury him. You turned him into the all-American Les Luger and Braun Strowman. People don't care about him no more. You you ruined that. You ruined the show. I mean, wow, that's just alarming. 900, 900K to 700K the following week, and this show was promoted. A ladder match in the main event. People didn't want to see that. But, dog, this whole... Forbidden door crap is killing AEW. I'm sorry, because you're bringing in all these guys from that country that nobody knows. And what's worse, you're not giving us any backstory. Not Will No Spray had no vignettes. If I'm a casual, who the hell was Will No Spray? 
I don't know who he is. If if I'm a casual. Okay, why? Okay. Look here, Jim Ross. Okay, why is Will No Spray a top five pro wrestler in the world? Why? How? I've never seen it before. If, if I'm a casual, show me some clips, show me some videos, show his resume. Why should I feel he's important? Why do I have to Google this guy? Why do I got to YouTube him? It's like you were assuming everybody who watches your show, we have to know who they are. If we don't know who they are, we are the dumb ones. That's why people are not watching anymore. Because you are making us feel like we're idiots. Oh, um, if we don't know who Will Nospray is, if we don't know who Jeff Cobb is, we're the idiots. We don't know. We are living in a bubble. We are living in our WWE bubble. We are the dumb ones. Look, look, bro. Wrestling fans, who are casuals, don't want to feel feel like they're dumb. And they don't want you to tell us that we are dumb. We would we would just say, you know what, I, I'm done. We ain't watching. We'll turn we'll turn we we'll, we'll turn to something else. If you want to make us feel like like if you are the gatekeepers. Where it's like, hey, if you don't know who Will No Spray is, if you know who Jeff Cobb is, Jay White, all these guys, that means you are not a true wrestling fan. Oh, all right. Okay, let me watch something else then. If you have that mentality about your fan base, okay, we'll just we'll watch something else. Don't make us feel like we're idiots. Because we don't know half these guys are bigger than from New Japan. 700k plus. That is alarming. That's bad. You as a fan of that company, you better be alarmed by this. That's that scary stuff with they had no competition on Wednesday. There was no good sports on. There was no competition. So what were people watching? Give seriously, what were you watching then? I was watching AW. I know I know what other people were watching not to watch it. Whose fault is that? Stop bringing in dudes that we don't know that if we don't know who they are, that means we are dumb. Oh, we're just dumb casuals who live in a bubble that don't watch stuff outside the WWE. No, nah, no, nah, bro. It's like we are not into New Japan. We're not we're we're not into that kind of style of professional wrestling. How is that our fault? You got this ledger from the shield and Dean Dean Ambrose. He has a conversation with some guy from New Japan that never stepped foot inside the W inside the WWE. Okay, why should we feel like he's a, he's a, he's a big deal? Seriously, he's a legend from the Shield, and he's in a feud with some guy from New Japan that you gotta be an underground hardcore fan to know who the hell he is. Jericho. Who are these guys that you may have invented the damn Tokyo Dome with? I don't know who the, who these guys are, bro. It's like, can you imagine Vader? Let's say Vader cut a promo on Shawn Michaels. What if he bragged to Shawn Michaels that he was main eventing the Tokyo Dome? You think Shawn Michaels would give a damn? What if Jim was cutting promo for Vader? And he told Shawn Michaels, look, Vader is a big deal. He's a legend in New Japan. He was main eventing shows over there. He's a former world champion over there. He's a former IWGP champion. You should fear Vader. Shawn be like, bro, I don't know what that is. <laughs> like, Shawn would have that same reaction. Like, bro, I don't know what he was doing over there. And, and quite frankly, I don't care. This is the USA. What are, what are you doing now? Shawn Michaels wouldn't give a damn. Hence why Jim Cornette never brought up Vader's New Japan days because nobody cared. The they are in a heap of trouble, man. I don't. How can that show? Even, how can that show even be capable of dipping down to 700k? That's like inexcusable. That's it. I'm, I'm done.